Good morning. Just going to do a nicely flow today. All right, so we're going to come and start in our tabletop. Okay. And from our tabletop, rest our heels, bones back onto our heels. And then let's lengthen the arms away into your head pose. So just taking a few breaths here, just really lengthening out those thigh bones, drawing the sit bones back towards the heels, stretching out the, the tops of the feet into the toes. Lengthening through your side body, front body, extending right out to your fingertips. And then find that nice complete breath where you evolve the breath from the lowest part of the lungs in behind that belly button as you breathe deeply, feel that lovely lift, rise and expansion through the abdomen into the rib cage, into the shoulder tip. And as you exhale, soften and relax. Lovely. So from here, we'll come on to our tabletop. All fours, okay? Three to five cat cows. So remember, whatever the length of your breath is, just go with the flow of your breath. But it's nice and slow and steady. We'll be going as fast. So as we inhale, we'll get this fine. Lengthen right into that tailbone and right up into the crown of the head. And as we exhale, just really roll and curl chin to chest, nose to knee. Good, lovely flow through the spine. Just feeling that energy sun to really wake up. And then exhale and curling. Inhale to dip. Lovely. And last time to exhale and curl. Have a little extra squeeze in your curl, really drawing the chin into the chest, rounding and rounding and rounding the spine and tucking that tail in, lifting from the hands into the shoulders. Lovely. And then just as you relax back into your neutral tabletop, bring your bombs back to your heels again, stretching it out into your hair pose. Lovely. So from our hair pose, coming into our extended tabletop, stacking shoulders out over hands, curling our toes under, really pressing the backs of the toes into the mat, drawing the sit bones back towards the heels, ground the hands firmly into the mat, and just gently float the knees off the mat, Lifting the hips up to the sky, downward facing dog. And then just to wake us up fully as we inhale, we're going to bring our knees almost to the mat, lower our butt cheeks almost to our heels. And as we exhale, press it back into downward facing dog. As we inhale, bring the shoulders forward high, drop the hips and just lift through that front chest more into the crown of the head. Exhaling, lift hips up high, drawing back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, lower the knees almost to the mat as if you're going to sit down onto your heels. Exhaling back into that downward facing dog. Inhale, ripple and roll it forward, dip the hips, lengthen up, crown the head. Exhale, lift and press back. Remember, we're really keeping that tummy nice and tucked in. Exhale, and bombs almost to heels. Inhale, down facing dog. Ripple and roll it forward one last time. Hips drop down. Exhale, and down facing dog. Inhaling, knees to the mat. Then exhaling, just back into that head pose, just lengthening the arms away. Breathe into any areas of tightness you may feel evolving. Lovely. So from here, we're going to come into our tabletop again. Extending our right leg out behind us. Okay. Just curl the toe under initially and press back to the heels, energizing that leg. Okay. And then as we inhale, we'll float that right leg up, lift up through that front chest also. Just like cat cow with the leg raised, exhaling nose to knee. Roll and curl. Inhale, float, lift it up, head, neck, and chest. Exhale, curl it. Lovely. Inhaling last time, lift it up. 
Exhale, curling it in. We're going to curl toe under left foot. We're going to float left knee off the mat. So it's still got our right knee tucked in here. And just take a wee moment to lengthen into that left leg, lifting the sit bone up, smoothing out into the heel. Lovely. And then float that right leg up nice and high. <laughs> Good. And we kick up the piano there. Lovely. So from here, we're going to exhale. We're going to tuck that right knee into the chest wall, and we're going to float up high onto the toe of our left foot. And then as we inhale to float that right leg up, we're going to press the left heel back down to the mat and look past our hand. And then again, high on the toe, tuck nose to knee. Inhale, press into that heel, float that leg up. Last time, high on the toe, nose to knee. Inhale, float that lovely leg up. And then tuck that knee into chest wall. We'll step that right foot in between our hands. Step the left in a little bit. Okay, so we've got a soft bend into our right knee at the minute. We'll just tip the fingertips either side of that front foot, draw our left hip bone forward. And just take incremental breaths into lifting and lengthening and straightening into that right leg. So drawing those nice inside thighs towards one another and smoothing down that leg. And just breathe steadily and evenly here. Lovely. So you might find the back leg is tight. So just don't overdo it if you need to keep the knee bent. Keep the knee bent. Lovely. And then from here, whether the leg is straight or whether the leg is slightly bent, we're going to take the hands out to the right side of our little toe and walk the hands around a little bit. Okay, so keep squaring off the pelvis, lengthening into those left sides, drawing your left hip maybe slightly back from your left shoulder. Good. Brilliant, one more breath here. And then we'll bring it back to our center plank. We'll bend into our right knee step onto our downward facing dog. Good. Inhale forward into our plank pose. Exhale and either come into our cobra pose, which is all the way down to the floor, coming through our chaturanga dandasana into our upward facing dog. Soften those lovely hips, lift and lengthen from that belly button right up into the crown of the head. And exhaling into downward facing dog. Now just spend about three breaths here, okay? Just incrementally find that nice lift and release. Lift and release. Lift and release. Lovely. And then we'll pop onto our knees again. We'll relax the tops of the feet onto the mat. Just extend it out into our hair pose. Again. Just use this as a nice sort of soothing, calming space. And then we'll break it back up into our tabletop. This time our left leg is coming out behind us to curl the toe under, press right back to that heel. So feel the quad and the shin and everything getting a lot of blood into them. Good. And then inhale, float that left leg up. Exhaling, just nose to knee, round and curl. Inhale, lift. Lengthen up and then curl and roll. Inhale up. Lovely. Last time, curl and roll. From here, keep that knee tucked in, curl the toe under in your right foot, lift your right knee, lengthen it back into your tucked in knee, three legged dog. Take a wee moment to settle down into that right heel. And then inhale, float that left leg up. Good. As we exhale, we're going to tuck nose into knee and roll up high onto the toe. Inhale, heel goes down, leg floats up. Look at the front of that. Exhale, tuck it in high. Inhale, heel comes down, reach it up. Last time, high on the toe, tuck that knee in. Inhale, float it up. And then we'll gently step that left foot in between our hands. We'll swivel our right heel down, just squaring off the pelvis. 
And again, taking just that little bit of time to lift and lengthen, extend into your pyramid pose. So again, gently drawing the right hip forward to the front of the mat, lifting into your left butt cheek, exhaling, folding it down. Lovely. Excuse me. It's not my day today. <laughs> Good. And then once you've lengthened into that leg, we're going to take the hands out to that left side and gently walk it around. Lovely. So just breathe into that space. Another little bit. Lovely. And then we'll come back to our centre point. We'll roll onto the ball of that right foot. Step back into our downward facing dog. Inhale forward into our plank pose. Exhaling again, either for cobra or upward facing dog. Lovely. Exhaling into our downward facing dog. Again, just settling here for a couple of breaths. Just finding your space on the mat. Lovely, and then we'll take our eye gaze forward and step jump or walk front of the mat. Legs and feet together, soft bend to the knees. Just relax out into your first forward fold, softening, deepening into the crown of the head. And gently lifting and lengthening as we go. So just relax fully into the spine. And again, if you're very tight in the back of the legs, especially if you've been working a lot yesterday, can you bend the knees, okay? And soften a bit. Lovely. And then from here, we'll just gently bend the knees, roll it up the spine, big inhale, reaching the arms up to the sky. Exhaling hands to heart, squeeze yourself a little mind here. Settling into both feet evenly and equally, relaxing the shoulders. Lovely. So we're going to have float the arms up. Exhale as we flow down through our chair pose, full forward fold. Inhaling into our hand and half, full forward fold. Exhale, step, jump or walk back into plank pose, flowing down either for your cobra or your upward facing dog. Lovely. Exhaling into downward facing dog. Now settle here for about three to five breaths. And again, just finding that you're checking the alignment through the hand shoulder width apart. Okay. We don't want to be rounding and curling the fingers. We want to lobby length to the fingers, extension through the arms, but not pushing into the shoulders. So the shoulders remain quite relaxed here. And we're drawing belly button gently into spine, not suction, just a gentle draw in and create that tall on the spine. As we lift the sit bones up, lengthening the spine at the same time. So we're not dipping and bowing into our lower backs. Lovely, one more breath. So from here, we'll lift and lengthen the left leg all the way up. So we're going to start on the left side so you can see what has going on, and then we'll do the right side. Good. Tuck that left knee into chest, we'll step that left foot in, swivel your right heel down. Coming into warrior one, floating the two arms up above the head. Okay. So from here, just check the base alignment of your legs so that you feel your hips are forward facing. Interlace your fingers and turn the heels of the hands to the sky. Lift the arms up. Okay, now, if we're shy, the really sort of tight, tighten those shoulders, bend the elbows slightly, open that front chest wall, stretch the arms back a little bit, and then extend the arms up, and then we're going to come up onto the ball of that left foot. So as you come onto the ball of that left foot, trying to press forward into it, and then extend and reach those arms. Lovely. And then as we let that heel come all the way back down, we'll 
unravel those arms, come into a T shape for our triangle pose. Remember, heel toe in those legs and feet over if we need to. Lovely long lateral stretch down that left leg. Good. So get as long as you can here. We want really long side bodies floating it down into our triangle pose. Whether you place your hand on your shin or place your hand in against it, it's entirely up to you. But wherever you have your hand placed, you want to lengthen into the crown of the head, lift into your right hip bone and just turn that little bit through the waist into the ribs, okay, into the chest wall. Lovely, so we're gonna keep that lovely right arm active up to the sky, squeeze that lovely malabanda, keep that belly button engaged to spine, and float our left arm up as if we're gonna post it out in front of us. Now be soft with the neck, soft with the head. Brilliant, lovely. And then we'll flow up, T-shaped arms again, Soft bend into that left knee, like a little cartwheel. As we come down, hands are coming either side of that foot, okay? You're gonna roll onto the ball of your right foot, okay? Take the body weight forward into your standing L, okay? And once you come into your standing L, if you do have a block available, you can place it in underneath that right arm, okay? So firstly, really checking that nice alignment, just gently turning head, neck, chest to the left reaching that left arm up. So squeeze that lovely rib cage around a little more, press back to your right heel, flex the foot, almost sway the toes a little bit. Lovely, and then as we pop that left hand back down, we're gonna softly bend into our left knee, walk our hands back towards our feet and come into a low lunge. So make sure you re those feet if you need to, floating it up into a high lunge. Good. From high lunge, we'll bring hands to heart center. Lovely, spread the elbows out nice and wide. And as we exhale, turning to the left, right elbow is going to hook right on the side of that left thigh. And we're going to press and turn into our prayer twist. Good. So reaching back to your right heel, pressing that left hand nice and firmly onto that right and drawing those left rib cages round a little bit more as you swing your right rib cages through another little bit. Great. And then inhale, come to center. Try and float those arms up first. Exhale as we pop the hands to the mat. We'll step back into our downward facing dog. Sorry, plank pose. <laughs> Exhaling. Come either into our upward facing dog or cobra. Lovely. Exhaling into downward facing dog. Take a little breath here. Okay. Make sure you feel really connected with those feet. Okay. And then we're going to just rock onto the side edge of our left foot and the instep of our right foot by swinging the hips to the left. Good. Inhale, float your right arm up. Good. And then we're going to take our right foot and come onto our tippy toes right in between the middle of the hat and lift those hips up nice and high. Good. So working right onto that tippy toe, lifting from the side edge of that foot. Brilliant. So as we swing that right arm down, okay, and then step back into that plank pose. Exhaling, either cobra or up the face and dog. Lovely. And then coming back into downward facing the dog. Just break here again, another three to five. Okay. So try and find the softness in your downward facing dog. Often we put a lot of extra effort as we lift and press and reach. Just breathe into the spaces that you're finding is a little bit tight. So if it's the back of the legs, breathe into the back of the legs. If it's the shoulders, Breathe into the shoulders, okay? Lovely. Brilliant, from here we'll throw our right leg up now. So we'll have my back to you for this bit here, but she's know what she was doing on that side. So we're gonna tuck that right knee and step the right foot in between the hands, okay? Lovely. Step the back foot in enough so you can come up into your warrior one. And again, whilst you're here, just finding the alignment that works for you so that your pelvis is facing forward. And then we'll interlace the fingers, turn the heels and the hands to the sky. Broaden and lengthen 
waist into your rib cage, press the arms back. Lovely, roll onto the ball or toe of that right foot, okay? Because sometimes you might get a little bit of cramp into the calf muscles, so kind of tease it up and down. And then press back with the arms, lift up onto the ball of your foot, press your left hip forward. Right. And then as we release that right heel, we're gonna turn around and sparkle the arms out in a T-shape. Remember, we're heel toeing that right foot over if we need to. Lovely long lateral stretch down that right leg. So keep relaxing the shoulders as you extend and lengthen around that right arm to come down, left arm either up. Again, you can hold on, or you can just gently press against. Okay. We want to lift into this left hip bone, lift into the side waist. So imagine the seam of your t-shirt like up to the sky. Great. And then we'll float our right arm out in front of us. There's a bit pointing to the back wall. Good. And then we'll bring ourselves all the way back up into that t-shape. A little soft bend into our right knee, like a little cut. We'll spark on the arms either side of that front foot. Roll onto the ball of that left foot. Okay, lovely. So standing elbow, if you need a block, it'll go onto your left hand here. So we'll rock it forward. If we'll get a block, it's onto that left hand. But check in standing out position first. So kind of squeeze those inside thighs. And then gently float it out to the right. Good. Well done, active back leg. Brilliant, as we bring that right hand down, I'm gonna step that left leg back, find your low lunge position so you're nicely squared up here. Inhale into your high lunge. Exhaling hands to heart. And this time we're gonna to go to the right. So we're gonna turn, 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 turn as much as we can, and then scoop that elbow aside. One elbow on top of the other, lift, gently turn, press firmly. So you're trying to draw those thumbs to your sternum, as well as lifting up and away from that thigh, press into that back heel. Three. Well done. Lovely, just one more breath here. As we exhale, we'll pop the hands down to the floor. We'll step back into our plank pose. Exhaling again to come to inhale for our cobra or upward facing dog. Exhaling down to facing dog. Again, just a few short breaths here. Good. So this time we're going to roll onto the side edge of our right foot. And the sole of our left foot by swing the hips to the right. Lovely. Lift and float that left arm up. Okay, and then we're going to take the left foot into the middle of the mat, come up onto our tippy toe. Lift the hips up as high as they can go. Brilliant. As we float that left hand back down to the mat shoulder width, we're going to take it back into our plank pose. Exhale. Inhale, cobra on up, face and up. Lovely. Well done. Exhale, down, face and up. Again, just find your space here. This is like a little natural pause point in between each of your flows. Lovely, so from here, left leg's coming up again. Good. Bend the knee, lift the knee up to the sky, press down into your right heel. Great, and then we'll float that left leg back in between the hands. Now maintaining the length and distance between the front and back leg as much as we can. Bending left knee, okay. And then again, like a little sparkle cartwheel up, become warrior two. So once we come up here, okay, do check if you need to readjust those feet, okay? Draw the trunk to the parallel side of your mat, relax your shoulders, gently take your eye gaze along that left arm. 
Bear the grass in the chair. And lift those lovely thighs. Good. So from here, we're going to roll up onto the ball of that foot again. Okay? Good. Lovely. Take the head back to centre. We're going to laterally stretch back of the mat. Left arm comes down, right arm comes up and over. Good. Then we'll float our right arm up in a little Y shape. Good. Inhaling to a Y shape in the centre. Relax the shoulders. Keep the left mat here. Exhale, little Y shape to the front. Keep the left mat here. Lovely. Inhale to centre. Drop that heel, float the arms out again. Again, now like our little cartwheel, sparkling the arms either side. Okay. This time sliding, sliding that right foot in, keeping the angle of the foot and the leg. So we're ready to come half moon pose. So again, if you need your block there, it is on that left hand side. Flex, reach, extend that right leg up to the sky. Lengthen through your balancing arm, left arm. Turn those left ribs in, lift up into your right, and float that lovely right arm up. Good. So gently press your left inside thigh away from me a little bit, towards the right side of your mat. Press into your left big toe. Good. So we're going to bring the two hands down, okay? See this right leg, we're going to drop the hip, softly bend our left knee and tuck right thigh, left calf. Little curl and fold, and then we'll inhale, reach it up. And then we'll take a little bend, rolling curl, inhale, reach it up. Last time, little bend, roll and curl, and then we'll step. Right little toe side beside left little toe side. So we've got two baby toes beside one another. And we'll float all the way up. Once we're here, catching hold of our right kiss, turn the heel of the hand to the sky. Squeeze into those two legs and as you exhale, little side stretch to the left. Lovely. As we inhale to come to centre, just release the arms down. Step your right foot beside your left, slightly apart. Little soft bend into your knees and we're going to take left leg over, half seated stage. So once we're there, we nice flex feet. Okay. And we're just gently finding our seat. Good. So again, then we can just keep the hands to heart center. You can hook elbow around side edge of that left foot if you want, okay? But you just want to release that left hip. Lovely. Three, one more breath. Good. Gently arm hooking the leg, reach the arms up. Big inhale. Exhale, fold it out. Big pull forward, fold. Inhaling to half, and as we exhale, step jump or walk back, plank pose. Exhale. Inhaling to come either your upward facing dog or cobra. Lovely. Exhaling down facing dog. So again, just serve yourself out into this space. Breathe steadily and evenly. Lovely. So we're going to float our right leg up this time. I'm going to bend the knee. Reach the knee up to the sky. Lengthen back into our left heel. And then we'll step that right foot in between our hands, maintaining length and distance. So it's either heel, 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 in, in step alignment. And then like a we'll cartwheel up we come into our warrior two. Okay. Remember to turn the trunk parallel to the side edge of your mat. Okay. Lengthening in and out in whatever way works for you. Okay, we don't have to have a massively deep bent right knee as long as we're not pressing past our ankle. And gently turning the ideas along that right arm. Nice lift from the instep of that back leg as we float up onto the ball of our right foot. Little lateral stretch to the back, left hand comes down, right arm floats up and over. Good. So keep sort of just taking it forwards a little bit into this. 
Then we'll float our left arm up, little Y shape. Inhale to Y shape in the center. And on your next exhale, little Y shape to the front. Lovely. Then we can drop back heel, bring ourselves back into our warrior two. Good, sparkle like a little cartwheel over we go. Slip and slide that left foot in again. Remember if you need your block, place it out that right little toe side. Good, flex, reach and extend that left leg up. Lengthen through your balance arm. Good. And then reach the left arm up to the sky. Relax the neck. Ooh. I'm very wobbly on this leg. Great. And then as we bring that left hand down, we're going to bend our right knee, tuck our left thigh to the side of our right calf. And then inhale, float it up. And then exhale, squeeze and tuck. And inhale, float it up. Last time, exhale, squeeze and tuck. Left little toe side, right little toe side together. Just gently float it all the way up. This time, catching hold of your left wrist, turn the heel of the hand to the sky. Lift up and out of the waist and side stretch to the right. Lovely. One more little stretch out. And then as we inhale to centre, just release the arms. Step that left foot about slightly wider, bending into the two knees, rolling onto the ball of the right foot this time, half seated side, crossing that right leg over, relaxing the point and just bending into your left knee. Lovely. One last breath. Let's find a nice, soft, steady gaze. Great. And as we come out, we'll step that foot down, legs and feet together, float the two arms up. Exhale, fold it out, full, full, fold. Inhaling to half. As we exhale, we'll step jump or walk back into that plank pose again, folding down to the floor for cobra or up the facing dog. Exhaling into a down facing dog. So again, just finding space here. Lengthening, reaching out gently to those heels, softening those front ankles. And then we'll roll forward into our plank pose. We'll exhale fully all the way down to the floor, lengthening each leg away. Great. And then we'll bring our arms out in front of us. Rest the forehead onto the mat. Extend. Find the space in your hip creases. Lovely. And then we're just going to lift opposite arm and opposite leg. So as you inhale, we want you to lift right arm and left leg. Now, rather than lifting the chin up, just keep the leg forward. And then releasing right arm, left leg down. Inhale, float left arm, right leg. And then release it down, right arm, left leg. And then release it down, left arm, right leg. Lovely, and then just float it down, slide the hands back in underneath those shoulders. Press up into your cobra pose as you inhale. Exhaling to come down, tabletop, back into downward facing dog. Just floating the knees off the mat, pressing hips high to sky.
Lovely. So left leg's floating up to the sky here. Tuck left knee into chest. We'll step that left foot in. Coming as if you're going to come into your warrior one. Okay, so two and a half to three between the front and back leg. Great. Inhale, just float up the head, neck, chest. Keep your arms nicely relaxed. Take the hands behind the back. We'll interlace the fingers. Lovely, inlocate arms as we lift up those shoulders. Slightly roll them back and slide the shoulder blades down the spine. So we keep a bend into that left knee. We're squaring off our hips and just taking a little fold right down the mid lane of our mat. So just give yourself a moment here, nice soft bend into the knee, relaxing into the head, and just work with lengthening and drawing the arms up and over. Yeah. And from here, okay. Just a little straighten of your leg. Breathe into that hamstring, into that glute. Maybe another little straighten. Maybe another little bit. Okay, but as soon as your chest will start pulling fiercely away from that leg, just stay where you're at. Lovely. And then rebending that knee, releasing the arms forward and up, warrior one. Brilliant. So from here, just taking left hand on to your waist, right arm up to the sky. Good. Lift and lengthen, reach up into that chest wall, and as we exhale, we'll rip it forward. Okay. From here, we're going to do a nice big twist out to the left. So turn head and chest all the way around to the left. Sweep your left arm right onto the side of your left foot. Now, if it doesn't come there and you have your block, place it to the inside or outside aspect of that foot, okay? Get as much turn as you can, and then gently lengthen into that left leg. Reverse triangle pose, pressing into your left big toe. And if you want, then you can release that left arm up to the sky. Good. Breathe, squeeze those lovely inside thighs towards one another. A little bit more rotation through the spine. Eye gaze to that left thumb if you can. And then as we release our hand down here, okay, we're going to step our right foot to the front of the mat. Okay, bend those knees gently, roll all the way up to stand. Inhale, float the arms up to head, exhale, come into heart center. Soft bend into the knees, tuck that tail under. Root into your right leg fully, okay? And then either Garadasana, when you take your left leg up and over, okay? It doesn't matter if the hook, foot doesn't hook behind, as long as you can either press the side edge of the foot against the calf, okay? And then crossing the right arm over, left eagle up. Good. Brilliant. Today's a very wobbly day for me. Lift those elbows up, extend forward into those lovely little forearms. Lovely. And then release it all the way up. Lift those two arms up, big inhale. And exhale, fold it out, fold, fold, fold. Inhaling to half. Exhale again to come back into your plank pose, coming down for your cobra or your upward facing dog. Well done. Exhaling downward facing dog. Again, just take a wee moment here. Breathe into those lovely butt cheeks. Lovely, so right leg floats up nice and high. Right foot's coming in between the hands. And I'm coming up into our warrior one, but just let the arms be nice and relaxed. We'll sweep the arms behind the back, interlace those fingers. Gently float the shoulders up back and in, locate those arms. Good. And then we're gently forward folding right down the middle line of our mat. Right chest all connecting to that right thigh. 
And then just taking a moment here just to let the arms flow on over as best you can. Right. And if you want to start lengthening and straightening into your right leg, it's bit by bit. Squeezing out those inside thighs, bit by bit. Bit by bit. All right, so you don't have to straighten that right leg. My glute's very tight today, so I'm just taking it gently. And then we'll bend that knee, float the two arms up, warrior one. And then we'll rest right hand on to right hip. Lovely, lift and lengthen, broaden, lift up into that chest, so exhale, hinge forward. Okay. And then we're going to rotate around as much as we can, sweeping it out. So again, if you need your block, you're going to place it to the little toe side, or the inside aspect of your foot, and gently roll it around as much as you can, squaring up those inside backs. Lovely, and then we'll float that right arm up to the sky. A little bit more turn through the waist into the ribcage. Nice relaxed right shoulder. Right, float my two arms down. We're just going to step left foot to right foot, flowing up big inhale. Exhaling hands to hug, bending into the knees. Coming into your standing leg as your left leg. Okay, just get as much bend as you can. Tuck that tail under and lift and float the right leg up and over. Maybe the foot tucks in, maybe it's side edge. Then left arm over, right knee blocks. So we want to lift the elbows up, press the forearms into one another, spread those fingers and press them away. Brilliant. And then we'll unravel, float the two arms up, big inhale. Exhale, fold it up, full forward fold. Inhale into our half. Exhale into step jump or walk back, plank pose, floating down to the floor for our cobra or our upward facing dog. Good, exhaling down, facing dog. Just take a little breather here. Lovely, so we'll ripple it forward into our plank pose again, coming all the way down to the floor. Circling down, lengthening each leg away. Good. Just rest the two forearms, one on top of the other, rest the forehead onto your forearms. Good. Curl the toe under, lift the knee, stretch the leg away. Curl the toe under, lift the knee, stretch the leg away. So you find the space in your hip creases. Lovely, and then bend both knees, flex the feet. Okay, lovely. Okay, so from here we're gonna push our hips into the mat and gently float the thighs off the mat. So keep pressing the soles of the feet up to the sky. Okay, and just feel a little bit of space between the mat and your thighs. And a little bit more push up. And then relax the legs down, stretch them away, give the bum a little shake. Great, so extending out your right arm. Okay. Extending away your right leg. Bending left knee, keep it in line with its hip. Reach around the left hand, find the front of the ankle if you can. And hit flexion into your foot and point the toes to the back of the room. So from here, you're gonna do that thigh lift on your left leg as you roll the shoulder back, and you're going to lift your right arm and your right leg off the floor. All together, as you inhale, press the hip creases into the mat, float 
the thigh off the mat, lift right leg, right arm. Good. Now just breathe, pressing right into that lower belly. Short shallow breaths into the upper sort of ribcage chest wall to maintain breathing. Halfway, one more breath. And then gently release it down. Send the leg away. Just give those bums a little shake out. And same on the other side. So keeping ourselves nicely down the middle of the mat, left arm goes away. Walk that right leg away, bend right knee. Reaching back with your right hand, find the front of the ankle. Flex the foot, draw the line of the knee in to the inside thigh. So as we inhale, we're going to push the hip flexors into the mat. And we're going to roll that right thigh off the mat. Lift, left leg, left arm. And again, short shallow breaths into the upper the part of the lungs. Keep pressing back with that foot, reaching back with that shoulder, lifting into the left leg, lifting into that left arm. Lovely. And then releasing it down. Relax the arms, give the bum a little shake. Bring the arms either side of the body and just gently turn the head to one side, whichever is most comfortable for you. Lovely, so from here we'll slide the hands up, we'll press up into our table, nice and gently, as we walk the knees forward, drawing our butt cheeks back towards our heels, Elbows onto the mat and just cut the hands around the cheeks. Good. Extending the arms out in front of your head, folks. Feel the hair pose, pressing up into your extended tabletop. Curl toes under, downward facing dog. Exhale. And soften into the breath. And then just step, jump, or walk to the front of your mat. Legs and feet together. Hold it up, hold, hold, hold. So we're going to come into our halasana and our shoulder stand just to finish. So make sure we've got the toes right at the front edge of that mat. Lovely. So we're going to just roll down as if we're coming into a squat. If you find it easier to come into your plow pose from just your seated position, just drop your bones to the floor. Or else you can just simply roll back and like a little rolling poly. So the bones will come down if you come in from your seated position and then just gently float between the legs up and over. Okay. Now, if you have a big bobble at the back of your head, sometimes it kind of gets in the way. So I'm going to move mine out of the road okay. and up and over we go. Good. So from here, either holding onto the side edges of the mat just to incrementally creep you up and over. Now, when you feel that sort of compression in the front throat and the back of the neck, soften into the back of the neck, okay? And just keep your eye gaze steady to the ceiling. So we're either holding onto our mat or we're holding onto our back, okay? And not letting the arms just free float here. You can curl the toes under, okay? Now, if your hands, if your hands find it difficult to hold here, hold onto your mat, Conversely, if your feet don't come down to the floor, just take a little soft bend into the knees and cut around your butt cheeks. Okay, so your legs might be like this here, just try and soften down, and then maybe just tease it up and over a little bit. Just soften into the back of the neck, bring that breath. Good. 
Great, so when we're coming up into our shoulder stand, there's your spinal column there. You wanna take the hands either side of that, either pressing the fingertips in, heels and hands, whatever means you can kind of creep the hands up the back and slide the elbows in closer to one another. It'll be one leg up at a time or two legs together. Yeah. Okay, and again, if you don't like coming up into the high shoulder stand, you can take your hands again, cut them around the butt cheeks and come into a sort of like a 45 degree or we'll say 70 degree angle. So you don't have to be fully up high. You'll get just exactly the same benefits into your half shoulder stand as you will in your full. It takes a lot of compression out of that neck. Particularly if you have any sort of like a spine kind of tenderness or something going on there, you don't want to be really hyperflexing that neck. So this is a much gentler option to lifting it up fully. Lovely. And then from here, we'll softly bend the knees, cross the legs over, and gently roll to our easy cross leg. Coming onto the mat, just give yourself a moment with the backs of the hands, onto the knees, drop the chin into the chest. I'll put my hair back where it was. Lovely. And then from here, okay, smooth out the butt cheeks on the mat, lift and lengthen through the spine. Take a long inhale into the crown of the head, and as you exhale, look looking over our right shoulder. And then as we inhale to centre, we're going to look out over our left. Inhaling to centre again, out over the right. And then inhaling to centre, exhaling over the left. We come to centre here, now we're going to take right ear towards right shoulder, without lifting the shoulder to the ear. And then as we come to centre, left ear towards left shoulder. Inhale, centre, right ear, right shoulder. Keep the same on the left. So big inhale to centre. And as you exhale, draw the chin down towards that front chest wall as you want to press the bottom on that front chest wall. And as you inhale, lift the head up, slightly tilt the chin forwards to extend through front and back neck. And as you tip the head back just as far as is comfortable. Good. And then you're going to exhale, bring it all the way back down, chin into your chest. And then last time up and back. Lovely. And once we come to center, just nice, gentle head rolls around the axis. Good. One way. And then the other. It's not unusual to hear kind of little creaky, croaky sounds coming out from there, just as long as there's no impingement, just let it roll around. And then once you come back to centre, just roll them, top the knees into the chest. You just have a lovely little squeeze here. And then once you pop the feet to the floor and extend the right leg away fully, lift the left knee above its left hip, sweep the left arm around, and then take our right arm gently over to that left thigh, and away we go, we're floating out onto that right side. So again, relax that left foot, gently slide and tilt back onto that left shoulder, and then we can turn head and neck to the left. Brilliant. 
And then we'll float it all the way back up to center, just swapping it around the other way. So just straighten yourself down your mat, send the left leg away. We'll lift the right knee above the right hip, left arm's coming over, the right arm's sweeping out. And we'll simply tip and roll it over. And then we'll gently lift and turn to the right, turning our eye gaze to the right. Wonderful. And all the way back to the center we go. We'll just tuck the knees in, give ourselves a lovely little squeeze. And then we'll circle the knees around the hips a few times, just to smooth out into our sacrum lower back. And then the other way. And then we'll jump up the feet onto the floor. Slide the legs and feet away and give ourselves five breaths here just to simply release what's going on our mats. Just come into the very present moment. Revitalize and renew all the cells in our body with our breath. And create a lovely natural pause point to move on with the rest of our day. Just bringing your awareness solely to the movement, the flow, the sensation of your breath as it enters and leaves the body. With each exhale, perhaps just saying, I let go. I find me safe. And with each inhale, imagining each and every cell in your body just infuse the lovely light, bright, healing energy of your breath. Lovely. So just wriggling fingers, wriggling toes, just bring yourself back into the rest of your day. Have a lovely little stretch, stretch the arms away. Stretch out through the spine, lengthen out through the legs, stretch out your toes. And then we can gently walk the feet up. Tuck the knees into the chest, this is one last little squeeze, a little roll from side to side. Brilliant. And then whenever you're ready, just gently rolling it up. Easy cross legs. Well done, everybody. Have a lovely day. Namaste. Nice